Good evening, everyone. I'd like to welcome everyone to our monthly board meeting. This is the November 5th, 2024 Delta Amateur Radio Club board meeting. Um, with that, I'd like to ask our secretary, Mr. Perry, if you'd just do a quick roll call and call us to order, please. Yes, sir. Joe Plunk, president. Present. Tyler Henley, vice president. Present. Perry Hayes, Secretary, present. James Martin, Treasurer. Present. Immediate past president, Ty McMahon. John Reiners, Director of Programs. Present. Scott Adams, Director of Meetings and Special Events. Here. Mike Harrison, Director of Publications. Present. Joe Lowenthal, Director of Training. Here. Repeater Trustee Dan Fleek. Hey. Public Information Officer Adam White. Here. We do have a quorum, Mr. President. Thank you, Perry. Do appreciate that. With that, let's uh, real quick. Uh, I for kind of an opening statement, I'll just say thanks to everyone for helping Tyler out last month at the membership meeting. I apologize that I wasn't able to be there, but uh, my daughter and I had a good trip. Um, with that, um, Perry, I did notice that you circulated some minutes of our membership meeting. Are there any uh, edits or any of that that needs to occur for that? I only had one suggestion, and that was when I was talking about Phil's presentation. Uh, there was a sentence where I said that they, uh, the National Weather Service, Skywarn, was using DMR for emergency communications, and someone recommended that I change that to communications with the National Weather Service, which I did, and that was the only edit. All right. Uh, with that, are there any uh, other any other edits that are suggested? If not, I would entertain a motion to approve our membership meetings. Many our membership meeting minutes. I make a motion that we approve the membership meeting minutes as presented. Okay. I'll second that. Why do we need to do this when we'll do it at the meeting? So we approve the membership meetings because we approved them that we've uh, that we agree that that's what happened at the meeting, and then the membership approves them and it's kind of solidifies it all. That's my understanding. You know, is that not correct understanding? Uh, I defer to Perry. Perry, is that an incorrect understanding? Uh, I mean, I circulate. I don't guess the club has seen those yet so I would think that would be appropriate um, sometimes we approve minutes um, of the board meeting that have already been approved by the membership that might be redundant but I think it's appropriate uh, the the minutes from the last meeting uh, before they go into sparks and all I think it's probably appropriate to uh to vote on those. I view it as we're approving this is what we plan on presenting to the membership for approval. Yeah, I mean we're approving we're approving the minutes before we publish them in Sparks because when we publish them in Sparks, we then bring them to the membership and say approve the minutes as published in Sparks. So this is an opportunity for the board to agree that yes, those are the minutes as we remember them. That's what we talked about. There are no additional edits. We're just kind of, but look, I don't have a, I don't have a corner on the definitive way of doing this. So to answer Joe's question, that's, that was the reason that we're doing that. My opinion. That's so. Did that answer your question, Joe? Is that okay. address your concern? I guess. So it, it should be actually, we're approving the minutes to, to be presented to the, to the membership. Okay, so John, would you uh, amend your motion to basically uh, word it that we are 
uh, we, we move to approve the minutes to present to the membership as presented by Perry. Absolutely. I, uh, I make a motion that we approve the minutes as presented uh, for uh, presentation to the membership for approval. And Jim, you still want to second? Yep, I'll second it. All right, motion on the floor to approve the minutes as presented by period of the membership uh, by John Reiners, seconded by Jim. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Fantastic. Um, past board meeting minutes, we've already discussed that, so we'll move right into membership renewals. Uh, we've got two memberships, two, uh, two family renewals. Perry, I'll yield to you. All right. We only had two uh, renewals last month. These were existing members that uh, were just renewing their membership. We had Dan, Kilo November 4, Foxtrot Bravo Juliet, and his wife Janet, Kilo November 4, Foxtrot Bravo India. And I would recommend that we approve those applications, and I would so move. Second. Motion seconded by Joe. Motion made by Perry to approve the membership uh, renewals. Seconded by Joe. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Fantastic. Motion carries. Move right into Treasury's reports. I'll move down to the next page. Jim, I yield the floor to you. Right. So we had a very late... Uh, month with only one deposit and one check written but not cashed yet so we started the month with twenty thousand six hundred eighty four dollars and seventy cents in our checking and then that uh, one uh, family renewal from uh, dan and janet uh, gave us another twenty five dollars so we ended the month with twenty thousand seven hundred nine dollars and seventy cents that's in checking um, then, uh, you can see that that matches up with what I have there on the right hand side, just that one $25 dues that we received. Then, uh, we have our, our CD. Are there any questions about that before I move on? Yeah, I didn't think there would be, um, don't hear any. So then we have two or our two CDs that continue to grow. Uh, we got uh, one that's five thousand three hundred and three dollars and forty cents. The other is currently at eleven thousand five hundred and one and eighty one cents. So that's a total of sixteen thousand eight hundred and five dollars and twenty one cents. One of those is coming up. That that second one's coming up at the end of this month, and um, I'm looking at <clears throat> promotional rates with regions for um for cds so as long as i um, take care of this within 10 days of the uh, maturity date being november 26th um this 10 days after um i we can get um rates in the in the area of like th well 3.44 percent for a 16 month 4.16 percent for six months and 4.4% for three months. So the rate is higher, the shorter the term, go figure. Uh, so I think somebody is suspecting that interest rates will be coming down. Um, well, the Fed says it; they're gonna come down. Yeah. So uh, I, I go would, for six months. Yeah, I was gonna say I would I would entertain any any recommendations there. Um, but I was leaning towards the six month as well. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't it doesn't require but one signature to to go in and and renew it. So I can I'll be able to go into the bank and take care of that without um, without too much trouble. If uh, everybody is, you know if we're all in agreement to go ahead and and roll that. 11,501 plus whatever additional interest we have um, into a, a new CD for six months. 
I think that makes a good makes good sense to roll that in for six months. Does everyone else have any discussion around Jim's recommendation to roll our uh, small business CD that ends in eight five zero three into a six month CD? We might want to uh, uh, wait until uh, Thursday or Friday and see what the elections do. Uh, but I would suspect uh, the six months is good yeah. because we've got another opportunity in January for the $5,000. one. Yeah. Well, and I, I, I can't act on I'm, the current CD without, without us taking a penalty. I mean, we would just lose, I guess we would just lose the, the interest for this. No, no, month. I'm saying wait. Oh yeah. To see what the election returns are we that, that can give an indication possibly of, whether it'll stay the interest rates or go down. Gotcha. Yeah. Pending anything else, I would say that the board is unanimous and, and we'll codify this in a moment, Perry. Uh, I'd say the board's pretty unanimous to do, to do the six month term pending any major changes that come up. Yeah. Um, so, at this point, I think it's uh, Jim. I think it's the board's recommendation to for you to pending a change to pursue the six month uh, term for the small business CD. If it, if it doesn't make if it doesn't make sense come the end of the month and or or near the end of the month and you know to to continue down that road of the six month, um, you know if, if certain you know if something suddenly flip flops and the and a 13 month or a 16 month comes up with a better rate. Um, I can send out a message or send out an email yeah. asking for consensus. Yeah. And here, here's the, here's the uh, opportunity as well to uh, Jim at the monthly membership meeting next month. If we need to have just a five minute board meeting for, during the break at the meeting, we can call a meeting, call the order, Perry take short notes and the only item of business is a, the the interest rates on the CD have changed. We need to change our recommendation. We can make that happen. You know that's the the nice thing about mm -hmm. that. I do have a question. Uh, since it matures on the twenty six, we really can't do anything until the twenty six. Right. Right. So we have, then we have we have ten days after that. Ten days yeah. after. So the only really really the best time to do it will probably be on the. I don't know. I was just thinking. I was just throwing that out there. Yeah, we, I mean, we we could just wait until yeah. our next board meeting, which would be within that ten day window. Yeah. Why don't Why don't we do that? All right. One, two, we can let it mature. Act on the rates at that point. Uh, we'll discuss that in the December third board meeting, which is the first Tuesday of December. Right. Uh, the, the, it'll be mature. Be right. It'll be within the ten day window. What are uh, just a quick topic of conversation? What are you thinking, Jim, for our the smaller one, the eight four eight one, the five thousand, approximately five thousand dollar one? What am I? Am I? What am I thinking? Thinking I, about I, rolling it. Think thinking about rolling it, or recommending that we roll it, or just want to wait and discuss that later. Um, I would would probably just leave it until January, and then see what the rates are then for. January and then decide what the proper term would be or, or recommended term would be. Okay. Uh, let's see. Can we, will we be able to deal with that in January? The chair is on the 22nd. One, two, three. Is that calendar days, Jim? Uh, yes. I, yes. It's 10, 10 calendar days. January 22nd falls on a Wednesday. Yeah, we won't be able to deal. We will have to deal with that and make a decision about that and, and let you know what it is at the January board meeting. We won't be able to wait till February for that one. Okay. Any questions regarding our CDs and Jim's recommendations? Just to kind of summarize that real quick, we're we're deferring to make a decision until the next board member meeting in December on the eight five zero three or the eleven thousand five hundred dollars CD. 
and we'll talk about the remaining CD in January. All right. The next board of directors Jim, anything meeting. Anything else? Not the next member I, meeting, but the board of directors meeting. Did I misstate that? I apologize. The December board of directors meeting and then the January board of directors meeting. I apologize. Thank you, Joe. Okay. All right, Jim, anything else? Nope. I still have not been able to get through to anybody with the with the IRS regarding our um, our letter of determination. Uh, I was going to ask if you had received anything from that document that you had completed and were able to um, submit electronically. Um, I have not, and I have some information on that. But before we do that, I would entertain a motion to approve our treasurer's report. I would move that we accept the treasurer's report as presented. And anybody, and Mike seconds that. So Perry has made a motion to approve our treasurer's report as presented, seconded by Mike. All in favor, please say aye. 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 All right, fantastic. Uh, so on that note, Jim, I did talk with the accountant that I had access to that does some work in that space. And his advice was, you're going to have to, we're, we, some of us, one of us, somebody is going to have to get them on the phone. And I realized that uh, that is a very Joe, hard challenge. Joe. Yes, sir. Uh, one of our members is, is a IRS uh, enrolled uh, a, uh, agent, an accountant, CPA, an accountant that's an enrolled. Okay. And he has telephone numbers that he can reach, go to. Uh, Warren. Uh, I will. Go ahead. Warren. Warren Zimmer. No, not Warren. No. Okay. I, I will take the opportunity, Joe. You've included me on that message. I'll reach out to him tomorrow and uh, pursue that. Thank you for that. Okay. Uh, Jim, do we have any additional bills? I did have the the bill that you sent for uh, Scott, I'll sign that one. Mm -hmm. uh, I hit, Scott did mention that he has a couple more that he'll bring at the meeting. I think he's still within his budget, so that shouldn't oh, be yeah, an issue. Yeah. He's well within his budget. Um, the, uh, we'll only... sign that at... Okay. Go ahead. Uh, for, I just remembered something. That's okay. Okay, so I do we have any additional? I, have, I don't have any other um, outstanding bills except um, I do have all the receipts from the purchases for prizes that will be at next week's meeting, so I can bring the all those to you. All right, or or I can just upload them to our our Google Drive. Works. I mean, I, I mean, I'll, I'll upload them anyway, but uh, but you know, I. We can review those, and then uh, you know, I think it came to like just—I mean, just shy of five hundred dollars. Yeah, four hundred ninety. I was very impressed. Oh. I was very impressed with your precision. <laughs> yeah. Um. And the only other thing that I'm expecting to come up is um, is the uh, renewal of our PO box. I uh, have not received the bill for that yet in the in in our PO box. So they usually just you know drop it in there, but that will be coming up, um, and I'll need to uh, write them a check to the post you know to the postmaster. That's a pretty pretty healthy amount this year, I think, from what I've heard other people saying. Uh, not surprising. It, it's gone up a little bit each year. What was the last uh, amount? I heard something like three hundred dollars. Yeah, I want to say it was like three hundred and twenty dollars or something like that. Um, that may have how much was in the year may have included um, the purchase of a, a book of stamps as well. But I'm I'm looking to see if I if I have a copy of that on my uh, my laptop. Uh, how much did we have in the budget for that, Jim? 
just one moment. Okay, our budget was uh, okay, so the PO box uh, was three hundred and thirty two dollars last year. So we put that in the budget as 300 and some change. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Previous year is $312. And go ahead, Mike. So you know, GoDaddy's going to hit us for about $160 this month as well. I think that's also in the budget. Yeah. <laughs> and who does, who is that coming to now? Is it, has that been changed from, Yes, I put my credit card or my debit card in there, so it'll be okay. coming out of my account. Okay. I know it was going to somebody else. When that happens, just let us know. That's a budgeted expense, Mike. So as soon as it happens, you can submit for immediate reimbursement. Uh, being okay, it's not a problem. In budget and in budget. And then, Jim, as soon as the post office comes in and I submit, as long as it's not over budget, we can submit and immediately proceed with that. Um, if it is over budget, there is still some funding left in the board's discretionary fund. We may be able to cover the difference of the post office box by uh, using the board's discretionary fund. Yeah. And one of the, the, one of the realizations that I just had is we need to work on and prepare our, our budget, budget for, next no. for next year. And I didn't put that on the agenda topic for today. So what we may need to do is circulate that via email Jim since I don't want to put you on the spot and try to make you do that with two minutes notice oh I, well, I thought um, that you know, what it, it doesn't get presented until or, or we did we discuss it at the December meeting correct we, we discuss it here and present it to the board the, the membership in December so we've got we, we've got an opportunity to, to circulate it by email and get it figured out and get our ducks in a row and no, I think we get a proposed December. budget in December and then present it to the board, to the membership in Members. January. Correct. That that's what I remember. That's what I thought. It's so the outgoing, pre, uh, outgoing treasurer would present a proposed budget, and the incoming treasurer doesn't have all of that uh, in the first month that they are there. If if there's a change of treasurers. That's the way it was Fair written. Enough. Okay, good to know. Appreciate the insight. So, Jim, good news. We get to discuss that next month. Next month, yes. So, uh, all right. With that, we'll move into any other any other bills, treasurer issues, business that we need to discuss, everyone? Nothing for me. Hopefully. All right. Uh, let's move in real quick. Uh, I'll yield the floor to John and talk about our meeting topics for next week for the membership meeting. All right. Um, well, uh, Dan, we've, we've got elections going on, first off, and um, not just tonight, but at next week's meeting. meeting. Uh, Dan has graciously volunteered to do a presentation on Linux. I, I Introduction to Linux. And... Um, what what you know? I, I he'll he'll have his own laptop there uh, for the presentation, is my understanding, uh, because he also wants to be able to do some uh, some demonstrate demonstrating as well. Um, the, the 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 big thing is you typically I I would prepare a uh, a looping presentation that has like celebrity ham of the month, upcoming announcements, you know, stuff like that. Um, I'm not sure what I should do regarding that. I can certainly prepare that this week. 
I head out Friday to uh, to go on a cruise. Um, so if you just let me know where you want me to send that template to, or if you want to go a different route, that's fine too. Um, you know, um, I'll defer to Adam for any observations or comments he might want to have on that as yeah. the incoming. Yeah, you can send it to me, uh, okay. and then I can start taking that over. Yeah, and you can modify it however you want, because I, I won't be at uh, this membership meeting or the next one. Um, the only way I'll be at this membership meeting is if Hurricane Raphael comes to fruition and uh, stops us from going. So I am anxiously watching that. Fair enough. Um, and also, uh, part of the election process is also the awards. And I want to talk about that new business because yeah, I uh, want to try to work through and try to make sure we've got a, a fairly good meeting agenda for next week um, and how we want to approach that. All right. Anything the awards else are on normally our December. I'm sorry, Joe. I misspoke. The, uh, the drawing for the prizes. I apologize, Joe. I don't mean that. Okay. So the drawing and the elections will tie up what would normally tie up presentation one. Presentation two will be uh, Dan on Linux. Yes, sir. That was the intent. Gotcha. All right. Uh, any comments, observations, or discussions around that? All right, we'll head over to our repeater committee, Dan. Uh, I, won't, I won't steal all the DMR update and new business, but if you want to talk about it, I know y'all were active in Methodist North, so I'll let you have a couple of minutes, and then we'll jump into new business, <clears throat> part two. Yay, uh, Tyler and I went over to Methodist North on Saturday, um, and uh, just to back up a little bit, uh, after one of the storms a couple months ago, the APRS node at Methodist North dropped offline. And uh, I went up there and the power supply was hot. I was taking a break from work, so I just shut it off and tucked it under my arm, brought it back to the house, and it was fine. So I think the power supply just crowbarred. If I had just shut it off, waited about five or ten minutes, turned it back on, it probably would have worked fine. So I uh, went back, put the power supply in, it powered up the radio, I tested the antenna, everything looked good. So um, thanks, Tyler, for being my uh, power supply caddy. And uh, Rick Bean Blossom, W4JIT, I got him on the radio, and he helped me verify that he could see packets from his location. So it's awesome. It's running. Um, I think probably uh, setting DMR aside, the 220 is probably next. And okay. maybe, you know, we got an uh, email from Alan, and I've talked to Alan and Adam, uh, or, uh, Alan and Michael Knight, um, about replacing the audio board on the All Star um, Pi device on the one forty six six two five. When they set it up, there wasn't this board that existed. Now this board exists. And it's a lot better. Um, and I'd have to agree with him because during the weather net check-ins, Joe, you did not sound like Joe. WA4OBO is like, man, if I didn't know who you was, I wouldn't have believed it was you. Same here. <laughs> it, it was it, the audio quality is, is, but it's a lot better on the Arkansas ones because they've got the new board. So I'll probably go ahead and get that and put it in sometime. Okay. You've got some money still in the repeater budget. Yeah. Uh, so I think how much was the new board? 103. So I think that's certainly within the budget that we have left in the repeater budget. Uh, pull, pull the trigger, let us know, report back. 
Um, the DMR um, ComServe was a sponsor of my uh, fire department pancake breakfast. So Ken was there and he wanted to get going on the DMR. So I was able to finalize the prices, talk to him and a couple of times. Um, so I looked at the price. It's going to be slightly less than what um, Georgia, North Georgia. Uh, it's a lot less until I have to add taxes back in. If we get our tax exemption, uh, I think we can go back and file and get some of it back or all of it back, but it has to be probably in the next few months. But it is still with Ken's giving it to us at cost plus tax. It's, it's right on slightly less. Um, Ken is going to, um, he said, when we get all the equipment in, uh, he wants us to bring the duplexer off of the uh, 443.7 and take it to a shop so he can get it all aligned and tuned uh, on the bench before, and we'll get it all programmed before we take it out to the site. Okay. Um, that sounds wonderful. Did he hey. Does. Did he uh, give us an ETA on the arrival of the gear? Um, he said when he checked the price on the Motorola, they had them in stock. So he doesn't see any problem in getting them. He said the amplifier will take four weeks. That's okay. just what it takes from them. All right. Um, and then I guess we're not going to get the $10 a month for a while on our internet connection. We'll, we'll work through that. Uh, Joe Lowenthal has shared a contact. I'll reach out to that contact tomorrow. Okay. Um, see where that see where that leads us. See if we can break through the IRS firewall of uh, not wanting to talk to people. See if we can get to a person to get that sorted. Yep. I'll give an update by email the next day or two for that. Um, All right. Any other? I'm sorry. Go ahead. Um, the power supply crowbar and kind of going back to that is it, um, it went out right after the, probably during a storm that happened that week. And I'm guessing there was probably a big power surge or something, uh, because it didn't take out the radios or the antenna. So probably going to start getting aggressive on lightning protection here in the next few months before the weather kicks up bad next uh spring so i would like to and i'll probably talk and get some of those lightning arresters i mean maybe we we'll want a new one on our flagship but we, we i think we can do used fine on the uh ones uh, that aren't flagship and so we could probably go ahead and talk to ham about his two and see i've got can... a brand new one in the equipment okay alpha delta and then um the other thing is a um, surge suppressor not just uh right now they look like they've just got those metal power strips but something like an iso bar uh, Joe, I think you may have some similar type devices. Uh, I do. I've got some surplus from uh, South Central Bell. So, want to want to do some uh, surge suppression? One of those, power. Scott. What's that? Were you saying something, Scott? I'm sorry. I do have one. I'll be glad to give it to you. I got a spare Isobar first protector. Yeah, we're we're cheap. 
Um, Much appreciated. Yeah, no North is kind of a lightning magnet. At Brunswick, it seems like uh, the top half of the tire protects the lower half. But I, I don't always want to gamble on that. Yep. Especially when we put in this newfangled repeater. All right. <laughs> um, any other questions or comments for, for Dan? I'm excited. All right, Dan. I'm excited as well. Well, looking forward to it. Slow and steady wins the race. Yep. Uh, real quick, Mike, are you still on deck for Sparks this weekend? Any issues? We get you our stuff on a timely fashion. You'll have to unmute. Yeah, no issues. Uh, I'll I'll get it out as soon as I get everything. All right. Would love love to see articles from uh, as many people as possible. Just you know, just something something that that uh, why you're interested or a little comment or observation, just to intrigue and have uh, uh, conversation topics and sparks for our members to engage with. All right. Yeah. Did anyone want to just give us a quick update on Bluff City Blues? I know we talked about it at the membership meeting probably, but I just wanted to see whether any uh, learnings or action items that we need to take away from that for next year. I think I, Mary Jean needs to respond to that. Okay. I'll reach out to her and follow up on that. Uh, Jim uh, did a real good job on our prizes for November. Uh, I don't have that list handy, but it was like, how many did you end up with, Jim? It was like a dozen, wasn't it? Yeah, and I, I was kind of going through some of the stuff that I, that I've uh, collected that I've never used that you know that I could throw in, like I threw in two antennas. Um, let me see. No, oh, I closed out that, that window already. I've got, uh, I was talking to Steve Frazier and I've got two 10 meter di uh, ham sticks that are in the package is in fair shape, but it, they're, they're new antennas. I, we can throw that in. Okay. They haven't been moving. That'd be amazing. All right, so that's extra stuff to add to the list, Jim. Um, we'll circle back to that in just a minute because I just want to do a quick, real quick walkthrough of the a meeting and how we want to do, uh, do the prizes. Jim, uh, I hate to put you on the spot for just a second, but one of the things that will help us with that discussion is if you could find that list that you sent out by email and kind of prepare to share that, that would be super helpful. I apologize. Oh, yeah. Um, I've, I've, I've got it. Perfect. Uh, our December awards, uh, we had discussed uh, a new ham of the year and a ham of the year award. There were some emails that went around and circulated for new ham of the year. Uh, to put uh, Don uh, KZ4 Golf Juliet as our new ham of the year. Joe, I don't think Is that needs any... to be discussed. <laughs> okay, why, Joe? We make the we make because, that because at, you have an uh, audio and and they'll know what it is beforehand. Okay. Can we hold off posting the uh, board meeting on YouTube until after the membership meeting? That would solve that. That'll be in December, the presentation. Okay. Well, all right. Okay. My bad. I will, I will just move right along. 
Do we want to make any additional donation to Mid America Baptist Theological Seminary? Are we good with where we're at with them? I'm asking that to the board. Um, the last check was what two hundred. Yes. And in April it was. I don't remember what it was in April, or in, March or April. I think that was two hundred as well. Let's see. Um, they have so, certainly been so gracious to us that I wouldn't oppose to giving them some more. Uh, but on a on a similar note, do we know what the prognosis is for us getting back to uh, to Ellendale, or if, the, if if that's even in the works? I can check. I doubt if they've done the upstairs. Okay. And, curious, and the question is, would you want to meet when you couldn't couldn't meet upstairs? I don't think that's a real good situation having testing and ham 101 and everything in the downstairs room. Oh, no, I agree with that because, uh, yeah, ham 101 and testing has always been upstairs and separate as people were arriving for uh, for the other but. I was just curious where we stood with it because uh, I I have no so, no objection to remaining at Mid America Baptist Theological Seminary. They've been wonderful to us. They have been exceedingly generous to us. And Jim, did you uh, say we our can total hold off until, to them? I'm sorry. We can hold off until December. Rick, Randy Red will not be there to. Uh, no, he'll be he'll be there for the membership meeting. He just won't be uh, there this week. I was just going to say, Jim, did you say we had donated to them two hundred so far? Yeah. So um, the last donation was July 9th for two hundred dollars, and previous to that was a donation of one hundred dollars back in December, so December 15th. So it did, we've given them $200 this calendar year. Yes. Okay. All right. I think it would certainly be appropriate to give them a little bit more this calendar year. Uh, we can determine what that number might be. We can either donate. I would suggest that we probably donate that in December. I just wanted to bring it up now to kind of talk it through versus trying to just do that in December. So that seems like a logical decision. Probably another, what does everybody think? Another 100, another 200? I'm thinking one of those one of those two numbers. They have been awfully wonderful to us. So you know, they have. I wouldn't oppose 200. 200. Okay. All right, I think everybody's nodding at 200, so I, I, we've got the budget and various other odds and in places to make that happen. I think so, we'll do that. I don't know that we'll need to do that. Does everybody agree that we'll present that uh, at our uh, potluck in December? So yes. we, we had a, a budgeted right. amount for a living space donation of $300 for this year. So right. we can, if, Everybody's in agreement. Cool. Two hundred. We can we can borrow yeah. from discretionary. Yes, sir. Indeed, indeed. All right. And we might need to go up um, anyway because the three hundred's been about six, seven years. Yeah, our actual yeah, that, our actual that, donations for um, for twenty twenty three was 500. So we had budgeted 300, but we actually spent 500 because we were donating to two locations. Yeah. And I think we can discuss that as we discuss our budget and bring that to the <clears throat> table to say we probably need to increase that budget line item. And we can see what we look like, what the budget looks like and how we need to adjust. You know, we'll, we'll 
we'll work through the budget, see where we land. Uh, but thank you for that, Jim. Thank you for keeping up with all that. Uh, if we could take just, I, I don't want to take too terribly long trying to get everybody through the meeting and not drag this too terribly long. We're on our last topic. Really would like to work out and pencil out kind of our November membership meeting because it's kind of a unique meeting that we've got our election. Uh, granted, that's more of a check the box formality at this point in time. Uh, but I also want to walk through the the drawings and kind of work discuss as a board what order we want to present the and draw for the prizes. In other words, let's pick our our list of prizes and say, okay, this is the first one we'll draw for, and this is the last one we'll draw for. And just kind of work through that real quick, uh, and get that order figured out real uh, pretty quickly, so that we're not guessing the night of, so that we look like we we walk in there with our. Uh, plan. Uh, so Jim, if I could kind of put you on the spot just a second and ask you to just go ahead and share out that list. We'll make a real quick walk through it and start and say, okay, this will be the first prize and this will be the grand prize. And we'll just pick up, put, put the order in and uh, discuss it real quick. I mean, there, we also have the option of, do we, you know, do we draw names and as we, or uh, sorry, draw tickets and as we you know, announce who that winner is, they can come up and choose an item. And oh, we can certainly discuss that. Yep. Uh, I, know, uh, I know. Have we done that? I think we've done it. Different. Can you put the list up? I'm sorry. Yeah. I, I, yeah. Can, you, can I share? Should be able to. You got to drop Please. your screen. Stop sharing. Wow. Okay. So now let me share. Uh, thank you, Joe. I, I I can. Thank you, Joe. I, I can. Share on the right screen. Yep. Yes, sir. All right. So real quick before we jump into that, uh, Joe had two 10 meter ham sticks that he wanted to add to the list. And what was the other item that somebody said they had? Yeah, I have two and two uh, Nagoya antennas that I was going to throw in. They're still fantastic. On so to okay. Ham stick style. It's not the okay. brand is not ham stick. Okay, that's fine. Wow. You get, okay. Can you guys look away while I type? Absolutely. <laughs> nothing like a little nothing like a little presentation fright. I get it all the time. No, I certainly just, appreciate it. It's, I, I got too much stuff in front of me here. Okay. Too. Do you want to split the Nagoyas or do you want to do them as yeah. a pair? No. But that, any anything that we have two of, I was gonna split. Okay. All right, so Jim's question about do we do we just uh, draw for a couple of questions? Do we if we draw somebody, obviously they need to be present to win. And if we draw a ticket, does that ticket go back in for additional drawings, or is it once your ticket's pulled, the only time it goes back is in for the the big grand prize drawing? All right, ready? Uh, thoughts on that? Mm -hmm. I would say if you're if it gets drawn, then I don't know it because if everybody attends the meetings uh, twelve you know all twelve months, then they should have twelve tickets in. Uh, we keep the ticket that is actually drawn out, but if they've been at multiple meetings, they'll they'll have an opportunity to to get a second prize. Uh, last year, I believe we we set a a limit of one prize per member. 
That's fine with me. I agree with that. Yeah. 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 Me too. It's right. reasonable. If you're there every month, you get 12 chances to win a prize. One prize per member must be present to win. Tickets don't go back in. Um, and what we're going to Perry? designate the prize. Oh. can win them all. Yeah. That would be different than last year. <laughs> Where Paul and Jim won uh, everything. Yeah. Except the except the dream catcher. <laughs> All right. So with that, what order do we want to designate that we're going to draw for the prizes? What what do we want to designate as our grand prize? Most expensive one. All right. So column D, uh, Jim, if we could just designate that our par our PowerWorks Power Pole kit is our Grand prize. Okay. So, so are we going with the method of we choose one prize and then we choose a ticket and they go together? And then if if somebody gets something that they I, already have or they are, or they don't want it, they can pass it on to somebody else or or trade with somebody else later on. That certainly fosters some uh, inter-ham communication. I, I am uh, I'm good with that, but you know if you what were, is I, I'm, if you're leaning towards that, what or is everybody words? Uh, you know, letting people choose what they want, and then at the very end, uh, you know, it's one last chance for the grand prize. Yeah, I I tend to lean towards. Uh, this is the prize we're drawing for versus everybody just come up and pick, but that's that's just me. Yeah. That way I know what the tick what's going on. But it might go I, quicker. I think the board with that that way also. Okay. All right. I, I sense a consensus. We're gonna do a a, a prize equal a ticket. So we're gonna pull up this this prize, this ticket. And then if you've already got it and you want a horse trade, then the horse trade after the drawing. All right. Sounds good. All right. So what's the first prize we're going to draw for? Start at the bottom and really? go. Let's go from most expensive to cheapest, or I mean cheapest to expensive. Yeah. Go that way. All right. So, All right, so the side cutters. Side cutters, yeah. We'll draw for the side cutters first. Heat shrink would be second then. Yep. And this would be three and four probably. Well, the the two I would keep the two ten meter ham sticks together to be able to make a dipole out Pull of. Pull the dipole. I would I would agree that those should stay together so you can make a dipole. Just uh, have it as three. Yeah. Do that as three. I'm sorry, I've got these backwards. I was I'm on the wrong line. Yeah, March 5th. <laughs> Fantastic. Darn autocorrect. <laughs> Even better. Yeah. Well, I put, I put Jim on the spot a little bit. I apologize, Jim. I, know, I, know. I, I did kind of put you on the spot. So thank you for working with us. Okay. I was making fun of Microsoft, not Jim. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Microsoft, gotta love them. <laughs> Uh, two, three, four, five, Google. six would be. Are you going to split the TID radios? Yes. Yeah. So, so the TIDs would be uh, six and seven. Uh, LifePo would probably be eight. Just so you guys know, it's a uh, charger with it. But I thought that was a pretty good deal for a 20 amp hour. Uh, yeah, that's a nice deal. 
Uh, the nano, probably the nano VNAs. Oh, wait, we missed it. We got this adapter. Oh, we missed it. Jumper. Yeah, we missed that. So this is a, like, oh, oh. 10 different adapters between, you know, SMA and BNC and PL259 and so forth. Uh, yeah, uh, just make it number nine. You sure? Be slightly out of order. Keep everybody guessing. Ah, uh, yeah. I would say the. Do... You want to split these up and do a uh, a DMR ahead, and a tiny essay, then another DMR. Sounds like a plan. Right. Ah, uh, thirteen. That's not. <laughs> well, 14 technically yeah, 14. since there's a grand prize. Yep. All right. Fantastic. All right. Any uh, observations or discussion yeah, around that? Everybody kind of good with that? They want to donate. Um, you know, just bring it to the meeting. We can add it to the table. Uh, Joe, is there anything in the for sale gear that we want to clean house and? Uh, Put in the donate pile. Uh, I have to look at it and see. Uh, that that came to mind, the two antenna because those are, it's st still in the new package. Everything else is used. Um, and that's why I just Kate. off offered the antennas, but they haven't moved. And okay, in, I tell you. I think what we could do is we'll, we'll have a little fun with it. Uh, let's put a line item in there, Jim, for a uh, mystery equipment box. And Joe, whatever you want to figure out that you want to pull from the sale equipment, just throw it into a box and tape it shut, and we'll call it a mystery box. Is okay. that what plan? Yeah. We'll make that the grand prize. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, mm -hmm. uh, that's a little anticlimactic, I think, but okay. okay. We can start with, we'll start with uh, a mystery box. Okay, all right. So I'll 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 renumber these and and send them out. Oh, to you can just say just just say start. And that'll be enough sufficient. Mm -hmm. We'll go from there. Sounds like an excellent plan, Jim. Thanks for uh. There you go. Jim, I do want to again say thank you for putting all that together. You did a fantastic job of uh, shopping that list and putting that uh, order oh, together and, and maximizing that spend. All my right, pleasure. if you would send that out, I would appreciate it. Mm -hmm. All right. All right, with that... We'll do just a, let me just share this out real quick. Other than that, I don't have anything uh, other on the new business. Is there any items that I may have overlooked or not discussed that anybody would want to put on the table or talk about? Director reports. That was next, but I, that, that was next. All right, director reports. Lead us away, Joe. I have a general class starting Thursday night. I have seven students. And uh, uh, we'll see what how this goes. Uh, hopefully, we'll have a, an extra class class starting uh, first week in January. I'll get that out for the uh, December um, calendar and December sparks uh, that schedule. And it's at uh, oh, we appreciate that. MPD uh, Appling Farms uh, training room. That's through November and December for the general and then the extra will be in January, correct? Right. Awesome. Any questions on that? 
I'll uh, I'll defer mine for a minute, uh, Tyler. Uh, nothing is coming to mind. So, uh, looking good from here. That's fair. Uh, Perry, if you've got any comments you'd like to share or to report on. I do not, but thank you. Thank you, sir. Jim, you've done a lot of talking, so if you've got anything else, I figure you can let us know. All right. Uh, John, uh, I want to just lead off real quick before you uh, jump in and say thank you for your service. We appreciate the, the time and the effort that you've given to us. Uh, your service has been appreciated to the Delta Club, and we know that you're not leaving us. You're just stepping and pursuing other interests and activities in the, in the metro area. And with that, I'll turn it over to you and say thanks. And uh, let us know what you want to, what report you might have. Well, yeah, I, you, you kind of stole my thunder a little bit. I was going to say thank you guys. Uh, you guys have been great to work with. Really enjoyed working with each and every one of you. And uh, like I said, I'm not going anywhere. I'm still, still going to be around. And uh, I've still got a lot of great ideas for stuff that we can do. Um, uh, one thing that came up this morning, and, and, and I hope I don't uh, step on anybody's toes across the river, uh, but, you know, we've, we've kicked around the idea of doing some special events like fox hunts and things like that. And uh, uh, to our west, the guys were talking this morning uh, about doing a fox hunt, but starting it off with an antenna build, like how to build a Yagi antenna and then use it at an actual fox hunt and i thought that was a tremendous idea so i'm not trying to steal it from them i will give them credit where credit is due but uh i uh, thought that was a great idea and and this year's kind of gotten away from us a little bit but really hopeful that we can see delta club pursue events like that or maybe a go box uh uh, uh challenge kind of like a car show but everybody brings their go boxes and, and we have a contest for that or you know, some events outside of just club meetings and field day uh, that we could really generate a lot of interest in. So, uh, and, and and they could even be multiple club events. Uh, we could partner with MARA, with Neshoba Club, all three, or, or our friends west of the river as well. So just some of my thoughts, just thinking out loud. And uh, like I said, I appreciate all of you. And uh, I'm still here if you need anything. Well, thank you, John. That is much appreciated. We appreciate all that you're doing for the have done for the club and all that you're doing for Aries and all that you're doing for the National Weather Service and all the other activities that you're involved in and uh, share with us. So thank you that. Uh, we'll move over to Scott and uh, you can have anything that you'd like to report back to us. Not not this time. Just for, I forgot a, a few items to two receipts to turn in to you next week. Very good. Uh, is there just a real quick? Uh, oh, dude, sorry, Joe. I forgot to bring this up. Just dawned on me. Um, we might want to be thanking uh, the dinner for the next month for That's December. Cool. I know we'll probably talk exactly about exactly what I was going to ask about. So I was just go ahead. We typically get the ham, and then the members provide all the side dishes or hams, maybe multiple hams. Uh, just, they just need one big one this year. Bring it to the attention that we need to think of it. Okay. We, we yeah. also provide the drinks, don't we? And yeah, so I'll just purchase drinks, plates, and utensils and that type of stuff. I think we had some plates left uh, at uh, Steve's guy, maybe in storage somewhere. Okay. So that's all. Okay. Thank you, Scott. We appreciate all that you do keeping us. Uh, Set the room up and take care of it, keeping us fed and uh, in drinks and coffee and snacks. Um, Mike? Nothing new. Just get your Sparks articles in time and I'm pointing five fingers at me. <laughs> Appreciate you. Appreciate Mike. All yeah, you thank you. And, yeah. My pleasure. Uh, we... Mike is looking for an apprentice and a trainee. So if you know anybody that's interested or wants to kind of step into those, uh, he is definitely looking for apprentices and trainers and trainees, excuse me. 
uh, to kind of step in and fill that role. Uh, I've got Dan? one comment. Uh, Mike Sparks had knee surgery last week, and uh, I'll be doing the testing uh, next week. I don't okay. think you'll be able to make it. All right. Sounds good. Um, you mean to make that change in Sparks? You can still have people send it to him, but I'll be doing the actual testing. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, I, I did. That's thank you, Joe. Appreciate you stepping up and stepping in for that. Thank you. Um, on a side note, just as a personal question, how are our V how's our list of VEs doing? Is it still nice and long, nice and full? It's uh yeah. We've got quite a few. Okay. Uh we usually have four, five, six, seven. Perry, you're in the room longer than I am normally. So how many VEs do we usually you're I don't feel like we have as many as we normally do. We have plenty. Uh let's see. We usually have two working the table, three grading, and probably one or two floating around. I mean, we have we have plenty. Um, we don't have as many maybe as we had in the heyday, but we have a good number. There's not a lot of extra uh, people floating around. We have a pretty good number. I'd say six or seven normally come. Well, very good. If we need more, let us know. We'll go find some and ask some people to sign up and go through the process because I think the AWRL has finally got all that working again. Finally. Uh, Dan. Yes. Any report or any uh, additional comments that you'd like to bring uh. up? I don't have anything to add to the status of the repeaters. Uh, just kind of a question about uh, Facebook. Uh, I haven't seen any posts. Uh, and I was wondering if I could get some access. I would like to post like repeater status or anything like that. Um, I will take a note on that and and see if we can work that out um uh, adam you have any thoughts on on that uh i don't have facebook access either we were going to get together on that and i dropped it so all right yeah. maybe i can just shoot adam a note and he post it yeah i'm happy either way but we need yeah. to get all that sorted straightened out anyway so i'll I took a note. I've got a couple of action items. I'll try to follow up on that. That's a good point. I think it would be good for you to be able to post repeater statuses and et cetera. All right. Anything else, Dan? Nope. All right, Adam. No, I don't have anything. Fantastic. Um, so I'll take uh, and just kind of put some uh, thoughts out there. Uh, a couple of things that I'll uh, put out for kind of my report. Uh, first of all, I want to say thank you to each and every one of you that have given your time and your energy uh, to the Delta Club. Uh, I was reading through the minutes and I saw that Steve had mentioned that, you know, a lot of you that are serving on the board have been serving for a while um, and we need to give you the ability uh, to find a, a, a new ham that wants to step up onto the board and kind of work alongside you and take your place and put you out of a job. That would be the hope eventually. Uh, and step in and serve the board, serve the club as a board member. So one of the things that I'm trying to, to do as a personal challenge for myself is to make sure that I uh, talk to more of our membership. That's my personal challenge that I'm giving myself is to work and talk to our members. One of the things that I would like to ask all of us to work on next year as a board, already looking forward into January of 2025, um, membership is going to be a, uh, something that we will have to recruit and we will need to find new members next year. Uh, we'll have a, a small group of, of membership that we will lose. We always do. Uh, 
So we'll have to find new hams to join our club and, and bring uh, new ideas and new thoughts to the club. I'd ask each and every one of you, hey, if you know somebody that's a new ham or you're a VE and someone gets their ticket and just passed, you know, ask them, hey, what would you be interested in? How can we interest you in joining and coming to the Delta Club? And then the last thing I'd say is as a board uh, starting out for next year, I'd like to try to get together as a board, but not as a board, maybe do something uh, one evening and just get socialize a little bit and talk about uh, one of the other things that I personally want to do is talk to each and every one of us and say, what do we want to get from the Delta Club and what do we want to do as board members? So I'd like to try to find a time and a place where we can all get together and kind of have that conversation, not as a board, but as a group of board members that are socializing a little bit. So that's my closing comments and thoughts. Uh, with that, we don't have any old business on the table. Uh, that was just a parking lot. I do ask that we do consider trying to find, you know, somebody that's new, one person, and ask them to join our club. And then that's the end of that. I would entertain a, a motion to adjourn. So moved. Like all right, Joe made the Joe made the motion to adjourn, seconded by Dan. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Gentlemen, thank you very much for your time. Appreciate your service and look forward to seeing y'all next week. Take care. And Joe, thank you to for all that you've done for the club yep. as our as our president. Yep. yep. Thank you. Much appreciated. Amen My pleasure. To that. Good night. All right, y'all take care.